Ross, after that uh, that first pick, what what were you trying to do on that play, and, and what were you thinking as you headed to the sideline? You know, just trying to pick up a first down as best I could. Um, I saw I had a shot deep. I just wasn't just didn't trust it. Probably should have took it, but um, and then the second receiver came into my vision, and um, you know, looking back on it, definitely should have just thrown it away and punted it. But uh, you know, luckily that was an early one. Um, the second one was really the one that got me. Um, you know, just had to go. This one didn't go through my progression the way I've been taught, and uh, you know, should have went to my second read on that. And then, um, you know, but those are easy fixes. And luckily, our defense held. And um, you know, at other points of the game, and uh, you know, allowed us to come back from my mistakes. So that's, could you go through your thought process after the second pick and they went ahead? Mm -hmm. What's going through your head, and, and how did you kind of get it back together so quickly and bring your team back and take the lead again? Uh, I'm a person that thrives off adversity. Um, so I really, when that happened, you know, and especially when it's your fault, <laughs> you better make up for it, you know. So it, uh, you know, I just stuck with what I, you know, what I know, what I've, you know, with my training and my coaching and, um, you know, just didn't get ahead of that or try to do anything different and just stuck with what, I, what they gave me and um, just try to be more consistent and stuff like that throughout each play and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we were lucky enough to make some big plays when we needed to um, and kept the ball moving and run some time off the clock and stuff like that when we needed to. But, um, you know, after that, that second pick, you know, it was kind of, you know, I knew it was kind of, we have to play mistake-free football now. You know, there's nothing we can do after this. Uh, that's probably the last last bad throw I could have all game. So, you talk a little bit of what, about what happened on your um, touchdown pass to to Patrick. You had some heavy rush there and mm -hmm. made something happen. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So, um, yeah, we got we got a blitz off the edge, um, and I, I was told that Pat kind of got a little piece of him for me, which you know. So I kind of just tried to bait him, like I was going to sprint out right, and then just. Um, spun the other way and then he's, he's wide open because they already had to take a couple of receivers on the field and then uh, he did the rest. I mean, he, that was an amazing momentum changing play and that was a huge play for us. Um, you know, not not a surprise from, that, from him though, you know, the stuff that he's been doing this off season, and the type of kid he is, he's a fighter and, you know, there's no surprise he got in that end zone and probably shouldn't have, so it's good. Right before half time, you guys were down 17 to 7, you're punting the ball and it was targeted call. You get the touchdown right before half. You outscored them 28 to 7 after that. And how big of a sequence was that with the targeting call and scoring the way you did right after that? Yeah, no, I'm really glad he hit me high because it was a drive. I mean, that gave us a lot of momentum, you know, because if I'm not mistaken, that was on third down and we had an incompletion. So he really saved a drive for that um, and stuff like that. So, um, you, know, you know, the targeting call, I'm, you know, I'm glad we got it, but. I wish a couple other things we got to clean up, stuff like that. So. You had a, a big hug after the game. Was that your father? Yeah. What did he, he say to you? He just, you know, he just, uh, you know, he's seen me at the lowest points of low and the highest points of high. And um, for him to be present, you know, with I and I have a lot of family here for this game. And um, just for that moment, and he knows how much work, you know, this team and I've put in. Um, for this moment to happen, it was just a really special moment for him to be here. Especially, I mean, he had a game yesterday, last night, took the red eye. So it's a, you know, it's just a blessing for him just to be here. One, but, um, and then just this, you know, the way he's raised me, the how he's been there for me, and same with my mom. You know, it's just, um, you know, I wouldn't be sitting in this chair if it wasn't for them. So it was kind of a, a culmination, I guess you could say. It's just a great, great feeling, great moment. Sorry, did you have any nerves though? I mean, this is opportunity for you as a starter? Yeah, um, I would say I more had butterflies before the game. I wasn't so much nervous. Um, I knew our game plan really well. Um, I knew where we wanted to attack, who we wanted to attack. And, um, you know, and I, I just trusted, our, you know, all the training that we've done this past fall camp and spring ball and um, the off-season workouts and stuff like that, you know, so that's why I was I think I was confident. I wouldn't say I was nervous, but I, you know, running out there for the first time, I'm like, man, you know, finally here, finally get my opportunity, and uh, you know, just wanted to, you know, was more probably stressed out. Just want to make it count and not let my guys down, you know, not so much. Man, I hope I play so great and have all these yards or touchdowns. I could care less about that as long as we're just winning. That's fine with me. So it was a, uh, you know, and after that targeting, you know, no more butterflies after that one. <laughs> so it was good.